Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when fits and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe just arrived representing for I just, just our mindset. mindset Rich forever So none of them are total different thing. See? But you have to be here to overstand what I'm saying right now. Yeah? When they're out there, sir, you're not going to overstand if you're not coming here, sir. You'd have to come to overstand that here, sir, is a total different atmosphere. See? Yeah, sir, is where you need to be. As African people, black people, African American, Afro Caribbean, British, whatever you want to call it. From you know, black, you know, African, yes, sir, you know, need for them. Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Ethiopia, wherever you can be in Africa, find yourself somewhere in Africa. You know, most of a big Ghana, but people who love the tropical vibes and Ghana is perfect for that. And I mean, today, we're there on the beach, we're there on La Badi Beach. Mindset, Rastafari. So you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, so Africa, the place. Ghana, beautiful, lovely. Need for their Africa black people. Stop wasting time in the West. Trust me. See, I always use so. Like it's a procrastination thing, yeah. When we're there in the West, and you know, we want to reach Africa, we talk wholly about Africa. But now we're there, in Africa, we're not only a talk about it, we are about it. You understand? And to be here, it is great to be here. You know what I mean? And we see the opportunities, see, we see the love from the people. Let me tell you something. Africa is only a bigger Jamaica for the people who, who love Jamaica. You see, they say if you not art, you not care like a Jamaica. Ghana is only a bigger Jamaica. Remember me tell you. Everything is the same. Everything is the same. The only difference here, see, from Jamaica is the language. It's just the language is that is the only difference. But other than that, the people is the same. See, the people are the same. The the the, 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 the setup, the you know what I mean, the, the communities is, is the same. You know what I mean? It's the same, no different. So here we are. We have a feast of why we are not gonna miss something when we left Jamaica. When we come to Ghana. Uno na miss nothing. Yes, yes, yes. Uno na miss nothing. Everything there. If uno aki tree, mango tree, June plum, apple, name it, whatever it they here in Ghana. See, so all I can say to my brothers and sisters, make Africa the place you travel next. Yeah? Not America, not um, this France, uh, you know, not these places. Africa, Africa, all the island need to be. Believe you me, Africa, please, yeah. Because you see, if you know for all along, me know that something was missing from my life. There was an empty spot, zine, and I, I don't know what was it you know why this empty spot was there but you see now i come to africa that empty spot there fill the void there fill <laughs> they didn't know what me did i miss now i know exactly what i was missing and it was to come to africa to come back at 500 and odd years as my virgin remind me the other day the man said bobo at 500 and odd years you you take for come back from the soil of Africa. I'm a day and now after 500 years. 
And believe you me, I'm the happiest me ever been. Brother lads. <laughs> you know that 93% of all black Jamaicans come from Ghana. Naturally. 93%. Naturally. So Naturally. Like, so like a soul connection there. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. That, yeah. Um, that can't be the lie. That's you feel fact. connected straight away. Straight away you feel connected. You know what I mean? You feel connected with your brother and your sister. Even though you probably not, you know, overstand what they are saying, but the mannerism and how them conduct themselves, you know, say yo. Uh, I know them type of vibe there, you, know. you can't, you know what I mean, I know that, I used to that. You see me, I said, just like how we're up on the beach now, and I hold for brothers and sisters, them, them I do them look hustling, and we know we overstand that, yeah, um, and them hustling and thing, and me might appear or look like me a tourist, but me are not tourist, me are African, I have some forward from. Most of the transatlantic slave trade, after uh, some of them shores, yeah, some of the castles them that from the coastline Zane or uh, Accra going to Cape Coast or wherever uh, from them shores yeah, we left half uh, Zane and I look for myself and I say yo what me did I do one day before slavery I probably was on the beach somewhere in Ghana one day before some unscrupulous drunk crowd capture me and bring me go around so Zin, with the help also of some of our brothers Zin, who didn't know any better Zin, and get involved in such crime you see what I say? but we forgive you understand? but we not forget you understand? until we not forget now we have to educate ourselves we have to educate ourselves as brothers and sisters because Brothers and sisters here have a lot to teach I as, as an African returning home after 500 and odd years. And me have a whole leaf to teach them also. Zane, as a Rastafari, a forward from out of the West. Zane, a Bobo Shanti from the order of Melchizedek. Zane, we have that to teach I and I, brothers and sisters. You know, something different from the Eurocentric Christianity no, 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 no. and these things that, you know, captivate a lot of us. And because, you know, we in, you know this thing embedded in us, we don't know, sir, is, you know, good for it. Some are not good for it. Probably keep up on a level, but the most are not good for us because we don't understand what we are doing. So, we have a lot to learn and we have a lot also to impart upon our brothers and our sisters. You understand? Because you know it's a family and each one teach one. And because it's a family, we grow as a family. We build as a family. See? So for me right now, for I, Celestia, I know, are the greatest thing in my life for Rita. Ghana, for Rita, Africa. We don't know who I miss me, I tell you. If we don't never forward to Africa yet, trust me, we don't know who I miss. We don't need to experience this. We don't need to experience this and not just, yeah, just experience it. Whatever come after that, come. But if we just experience this moment, forwarding on the soil of Africa again, come check. Your ancestry roots coming back to the root. You need, need this, need this, need to forward to your root. See, because if you just drop out there sir, and never forward to your sir, it's a sin. Yeah, if you drop out there sir, and never forward to your sir, Zion, and you hear. Christian talk about going to heaven. If you drop in a hell and you never come to heaven, man, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you have, to, you have to come to heaven. You have to come to heaven. If you, if you know what uh, Satan will hold you, you have to come to heaven. And this is heaven. And this is Zion. We hear Rastafari, Virginia, talk about Zion. I hit this. 
you don't have to forward yourself, you don't have to forward yourself, a hell out there, sir. Believe me. So, yo, you don't want to know heaven and Zion, Africa. I'm going to make a body fool, you know. Zion, out there, so a hell. As much as you know, in, in, you see all the man we love on a, on a, on a, on a nice ganja one, you see, on a can, on a can left Jamaica because the ganja in a Jamaica nice here where you can't steal. 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 Because you see if I dust that I go pull on in a Jamaica, steal. Because you see the ganja where they run us up. Me who want it for me and my virgin and we run you know, you know, you see me I say? But everything, when I try to say everything is here. Everything. You just the eye them up forward and make yourself at home. See it? Me and virgin and sister, my brother lads, Mrs. Curve, coffee, coffee, about how much coffee there? Nana, coffee, nana, coffee. <laughs> Holy Zane <laughs> family. Yeah, forward. Just, you know, for greet I man, you know, some return. You know, they have returned. You know, Bobo there who return and they are. Zane, and yeah, they are. For greet I man, you see? To welcome I home. And believe you and me, if you see if you don't see me back around so again, I don't know. I'm there in a Zion. Yeah? I don't have to come to hell. I can't keep what they in a hell. See? What they are Zion, we are right. Just make on your way around here. You understand? Make on your way around here. Zion is waiting. Zion, Africa, it's a wait. Black people on the knee. Virgin, don't make the rest of people them come and occupy this. Don't make the rest of people them come and take advantage of this. Africa on the home. So my virgin, so the virgin and sister in them there, you know. Them there, them are wait for you know. Them are wait. Them are wait. Bye. That is required. See, for I and I, brothers and sisters, we start agitate. And I and I be here because if I and I don't educate them and show them, say, this is something that is paramount because we need our brothers and sisters from out of the slave done, out of the slave pen, from running at the west, where you call Trinidad, Jamaica, Barbados, St. Lucia. We, the slave pen them, we want them to come out of them slave pen there and find themselves where them originally is from and that is Africa. See? And we don't want the bad one them round there because Marcus said he never did need the bad one them because there is no good round there. So ultimately we don't want to round there. You understand? But if we don't change the ways, we know is welcome. See? Yeah, and you welcome from on the change in the way. But Africa waits its creators. The rest of creators are here waiting. You understand? The rest of creators are here waiting. Brother Hawk. It's a monumental moment, brother. It's a time for us all. Even if we didn't know each other before this day, we realize we're connected because look how calm we are, like we know each other for 50 years. Yep. Somebody walking by would say, look at them, they got to be family. Maybe I might stick out a little bit with my bald head, but you know, still, I'm, I'm, I'm the family. The ships dropped us all over the place. They have different accents. I know that my family is from Jamaica, uh, but my father's from Jamaica, so he's people from here. She's from Jamaica. She hates me to say it, but her great-great-great great grandfather, Yaya, is from Jamaica. I mean, it's from Ghana. So she is a Ghanaian. So I can't help but gravitate toward that spirit. You see what I mean? I'm the one that has to come back and bring myself back centered because I grew up in a hellish place that's full of stress. Takes you out of who you are. 
dangles things in front of your face and makes you lust after them, like that's gonna bring you happiness. So for all the things I may have had in America or didn't have, when I come here, I feel centered. My only thing is that I see how the enemy is trying to corrupt the minds of people mm -hmm. here to make it seem as though what they have is what we need. Yeah. We don't need what, what they have over there. Okay. I sleep okay. deeper over here. I laugh harder over here. I can walk and feel free and see somebody and not have to give them the side eye because the nightly news yeah, makes it seem again. like they're my enemy. You see what I mean? That we are against each other. And those who bring that toxic mentality here, they're going to find out that that's not, that's not wanted here. You see what I mean? So we got to break ourselves down and release ourselves from all the things that we had to deal with spiritually passed down for the last four or five hundred years and come back to ourselves. And like Brother I just saw, as Brother Mindset said, it's a missing piece that he had or he lacked. That he that Once you get here, it's a centeredness that you have and you just want to soak it up and you want to realize the goodness of it. Just like when you eat a good meal and you sit back. It took you 20 minutes to eat the meal, but you sit back for an hour and enjoy and digestive bliss. It's something that you get fed here in your spirit. And yes, there is corruption here. Yes, there is. There's different types of mindsets here. But hopefully those of us who come back can talk to those and say, you don't want to be there. You don't want to go there. You see how messed up we've become the different things they put on us and women don't want to be women and men don't want to be men. That stuff is not us over here, it comes from out there. So they're trying to indoctrinate us in the mind, with the phone and the entertainment that lots of it is filthy, to take us out of who we are, the beauty of who we are. You understand? You have a beautiful sister sitting here. She's content in who she is. The brothers, I know you all are men. You are men, not just males, but you are men. There's a couple little something out there walking around. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That don't come from here. That's not natural. They're putting fertilizer in the food that changes us over. And we don't realize that, right? They're, they're, they're putting things in our mind that we think we should aspire to. No, we need to build from here, focus on here from the root, and listen to the elders who have always been here before us because there's nothing out there that they can tell us to make us enjoy life here any better. And I want the people here in Ghana and Africa overall to understand that. That we don't need anything else. Everything is here. But we're looking everywhere else. I'm not saying anybody here, but we have every other race coming over here. But they tell us where we are, that there's nothing in Africa. The people sleep up on trees. They are hungry. Send your money to care. The hungry babies with the flies around their face. That's a lie. They set that up, but they come over here and want the goodness because this is the last place on earth that's not corrupted. This is the food basket of the world. You can't go to China and grow food like this. You damn sure can't go to Europe and grow food like this. But they tell you there's nothing here, but you can't make a cell phone unless you get the, 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 the minerals from Congo. All the food is here. And they tell you the world is overpopulated and that's another lie. You can take everybody off of the planet and put them on the continent here and you can't even see your neighbor. You see what I mean? But they want to lie and tell you that. Never in my neighborhood growing up. They always tell you, oh, go to, go to Europe, go to Greece, go to Italy, go to Europe. Why are we going to these places, right? But they never tell you, go to Africa. They never tell you, understand what you need to see for yourself. So we go on in America, most of us in America, oh, I don't got nothing in Africa. I ain't got nothing to do there. There's nothing for me over there. And everything is over here. We walking around impotent. We're walking around half-minded, twisted. And those same people that don't want you to know who you are, they're coming over here and buying up land. So when people heard that I came here to move for good, because this is not a visit for me, and everybody here who's visiting, eventually gonna live here, right? What do you wanna go over there for? So I can get away from your ass. So I can get away from getting shot. I can get away from my kids going to a school where they teach them they're inferior, they were just slaves. They don't wanna teach the part before that. They don't wanna teach how good you are and how great you are. They can't give us that. They're, they're, how are these people who know they oppressed us and they're demonic in their demeanor teach us how to love ourselves? They want us to hate ourselves. So it's, it, it, it's a crime when they see us treat each other nice. It's a crime when they see, hey brother, you stepped on my foot. It's okay, I love you anyway. I'm supposed to whip out a gun and shoot him or bust up my knuckles fighting somebody. 
it don't work that way. It's a new day and age. And those of us, whether we have a bigger platform like Brother I Just Stars or a smaller platform like myself, no matter what, always show love when you get on Instagram, Facebook, because see, that sword, they made that to chop our heads off with it, to indoctrinate us. But we gotta turn around and spin them around and put them on the ropes and give the body blows to them. And we gotta live that. Ain't no half behind thing. And we all need, we all been through trauma. We all been through a traumatized mind. So we gotta take time and heal ourselves. Maybe we don't even heal up by the time we, we're ready to transition. But we need to heal and need to see ourselves in a different different light other than the lens of the oppressor who have us hating ourselves. I'll shut up. Got me fired up. When he was talking, it got me fired up. <laughs> Anything you want to say? Look at her. And you go on my channel, you'll see how she's talking. Make sure you don't want to say anything. No, I don't want you to say anything. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you just said something, right? You just said something. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I guess start the mindset. Smash that subscribe button.